Today's devotion is from Matthew 11. And this is a brilliant devotion. I love it. Absolutely love it. And what I love about it is um, is the authority, is, is, is the authority that's working between um, John, Jesus, John's disciples and the messages that are translated between them and how they answer and how the answers are translated and how how the questions are asked. So um, to set the scene, John's in prison. Jesus is preaching. He's begun his ministry. He's preaching. And um, and so John's disciples, it's clear that they're able to come and go from the prison. So um, he says to his disciples, can you go check? Because clearly they've come and brought messages to him. They've, they've told him what's going on. Right. And so he he asks a specific question, a very, very specific question. And that question is to Jesus. He says, you, you go to Jesus and you ask him this question, which is, are you the Messiah? Are you the one that has been written about? Are you the one that we're expecting? Right. Um, and remember, he's in prison, so he's he's re he's restricted and he's dependent on his disciples to go out. That's John is dependent on John's disciples to go out and actually speak to Jesus and get the answer and bring it back to him. OK, now, at this point, I don't know whether John is clear that that Herod wants to kill him or not, but it's clear that um, that him being in prison wasn't because he did anything wrong, okay? Um, wrong as in the uh, wrong as in the law or wrong as in God's eyes, okay? So John John knows what's going on, but he has this earnest desire to understand this messages that he's been getting. Is this the Messiah? I, I, and guys, I, I, maybe I'm putting this across all wrong, but. I, this thing has just excited me so much is that, you know, he's sitting there and he, he said to his disciples, go out and confirm that this is the Messiah. His disciples go out and his disciples do exactly what was asked of them. They go to Jesus and they put the question to him. And um, I'm trying to visualize what's going on here now. And, and, and Jesus gives a remarkable answer. Of all the answers Jesus could give, he could have just given a one word answer. Yes. Go back. Tell John. Yes. He doesn't give a one word answer. He then begins to unpack what the Messiah was sent here to do. And he says the lame walk, the blind see, the deaf hear. And he relays this fantastic um, script of works that the Messiah came to earth to perform. It's it's absolutely you've got to read this, guys, and you've got to read from from that human perspective. The answer is Jesus. No, know, clearly knows where John is. He clearly knows where John is, and he's providing such a full answer to satisfy the curiosity, inquisitiveness, desire, whatever it is, he's providing an answer to absolutely uh, um, explain to John beyond the shadow of a doubt that the Messiah has arrived by providing this construct, which John understands because John is uh, John understands the word and John understands Isaiah, what is written about in Isaiah. So Jesus uh, literally quotes scripture in his response to John. He also gives him absolute detail about what is happening right now. Like right now, the blind see, the deaf hear. Come on, this is absolutely brilliant, guys. You've got to read this chapter and you've got to see the significance of how Jesus is answering John. That our Lord and Saviour is, is so, to say Jesus is interested in us, 
underplays the significance of who Jesus is. To just say he cares about us, insufficient to to explain and to fully understand and appreciate the depth of his love for us, that God the Father, in his integrity and wisdom and desire to have a relationship with us human beings, sent his son to this earth to live amongst us, to dwell with us, not as a deity lording it over us, but to, to, to work with us, live with us, eat with us, drink with us, do life with us as us, right? But possessing the fullness of God, so being able to command healing, to, 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 to feed, to do all of the things that only...